Hey everybody, it's me, Lisa D. I was just talking to my friend Ronisha from College Station. We got off on this really random conversation, which might have started with the Jersey Shore. But anyway, we were talking about the universe. Where does it come from? What is it? What's our place in the universe? Well, let's talk about the universe. So what is the universe? Well, scientifically speaking, the universe is this huge, gigantic open space that contains all the matter and energy that has ever existed and will ever exist. So the universe is everything, literally everything. The universe contains all the planets, all the stars, all the nebula, and all the galaxies. Man, I love talking about the universe. By the way, the study of the universe, what it's made of, where it comes from, what its future holds, is called cosmology. Cosmologists use telescopes here on Earth and send satellites out into space to collect the data that they need. So what do we see when we look deep into space? Well, some important structures are nebula, galaxies, and stars. Let's start with nebula. A nebula is a huge cloud of gas and dust in space. Some nebula are formed when stars explode, like here. Some nebula are clouds where new stars are being born, like over here. There are also nebula that are insanely hot clouds of dust and gas, like this one down here. Now this bottom right one down here, that's a photo of a pretty famous nebula called the Eagle Nebula. It would take four years going at the speed of light to get from the bottom to the top of the tallest pillar. Did I mention that I love talking about the universe? Okay, good. A galaxy is similar to a nebula, but galaxies also have stars along with the space dust and gas. Some galaxies are spiral shaped, like this one up here. Other galaxies are ellipse shaped, like this one over here. Some galaxies don't really have any shape at all, like this one down here. But here's our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. And do you see that tiny, tiny little dot of light? Yeah, the really, really tiny one right there? That's us. That's our solar system. That's it. That's how small we are compared to our entire galaxy. Our sun is just one star out of 100 billion other stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And the Milky Way galaxy is just one galaxy out of approximately 200 billion other galaxies. Man, I love talking about the universe. Well, let's come back down to Earth, so to speak. Let's talk about our sun. Our sun is a star, and you know what? It's a pretty average star at that. A star is a huge glowing ball of gas and energy held together by its own gravity. I'm gonna write that down. Huge body of gas and energy held together by its own gravity, all right? Stars give off their own light and heat and other forms of energy because they're like huge nuclear reactors in space. Stars have different colors because they're burning at different temperatures. Did you ever look really closely at a flame? There are actually different colors. The blue here at the bottom, that's actually hotter than the yellow up here at the top. Crazy, right? It's the same with stars. They come in different colors because they give off different levels of heat. I love talking about the universe. So here's the deal. There's a lot of stars out there, 100 billion in our galaxy alone. How do scientists even classify them? There's a system that classifies or organizes the stars into different categories. It's called the Hertzsprung-Russell system, named after the astronomers who came up with the system. Hertzsprung-Russell diagram shows the relationship between a star's brightness and temperature. We use this to classify a star and compare it to other stars. So let's take a look at it. You can see that the brightness or luminosity is up here on the y-axis, and the temperature goes across the x-axis. So watch out, the higher up on the y-axis you get, the brighter the star is. But the further over on the x-axis you get, the colder the star is. So let's look at old Betelgeuse up there. Yeah, the one way up here. It's pretty high up on the diagram, right? That tells us that it's really, really bright. But it's also way over on the x-axis, which also tells us that it's very cold. Sirius B down here is the exact opposite, low and on the inside. So not too bright, but really hot, which kind of reminds me of an ex-boyfriend. Anyway, what about the good old sun? Pretty much the middle of the road for both brightness and temperature, right around here. So if you think about it, here we are on Earth, just one planet out of seven other planets, circling an ordinary star out of 100 billion other stars in our regular galaxy out of 200 billion other galaxies. I love talking about the universe. Well, that's it for me. Until I see you next time, keep shooting for the stars.